Hello and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Juliana and I post videos that kind of fall into the eco-friendly, eco-conscious living sphere. And today I'm going to show you how I turned this, a bunch of small little pieces of soap, into bars of body soap. <laughs> So I had a bunch of leftover soap laying around and I've been saving this for quite some time now. I had the intention of doing this, but I didn't have a silicone mold and that's where I found this would come in handy. I already had a stasher bag and if you don't know what stasher bags are, hello, welcome. They are Ziploc bag alternatives. They are dishwasher safe, microwave safe, heat safe. Um, and I was like, this would be the most perfect holder to make my soap. First things first, I collected a bunch of soap. Some of this is just the bits and ends of soap that I've had, um, body bars, shampoo bars, things like that. I just put it all into one. If it suds up, it's going in. So first thing, filled this with water till it was full, sealed it just to measure how much um, liquid I would need to fill this up completely. Pour that into the Pyrex um, container and that came out to about two cups in here. So that's how I knew how much soap I needed to melt down, but that's what would fill this thing. So then I went ahead and took my soaps, poured them out and started cutting them up as finely as I could. You could definitely use a cheese grater for this and you could even use a food processor if you wanted to you know, make it a little quicker, but I just took my time and cut it up nicely. And then I put it into the Pyrex glass uh, measuring cup. You know, it measured up to where I needed it to and I put it into some boiling water. So this is a double boiler mechanism. So then I just slowly started stirring it. It will take longer than you think it will. Um, it's not like little nibs of chocolate that'll just instantly melt um, within like a few minutes. This took probably about 20 minutes. And every once in a while, I would take a teaspoon of the boiling water and put it into the soap mix just to help melt things and you know, make everything blend together nicely. Once it started looking like a paste, there were still chunks of different colors from the different soaps, but I wasn't worried about that. Um, it's not gonna be perfect because this is just for me. So once it started to look good, I took my silicone mold, my stasher bag, and I took the top of a mason jar lid. Ooh, I used this to help um, keep the stasher bag open while I poured the mixture in. So I kind of set it like this and I lean this up against the uh actually my microwave but i leaned it up against something and then scooped the mixture in it'll be warm but you know just be careful that you don't burn your hands use like a an oven glove if you need but then i i tightened this up as much as i could got all the air out because there was like a little air bubble in it still but i flattened it down on the counter made sure it was completely sealed and i left it to chill overnight <laughs> so once the soap had completely cooled down i opened it up and the opening of the stasher bag isn't as big as like this wide part here so i had to just make a cut in the soap in the middle and then i was able to like move this around so one piece came out and then the other piece came out and then i cut those two in half again after i had cut them and took them out i let them sit for another 24 hours just um, on the cutting board in the air because they were still a little bit tacky. And then the water that I had put in from uh, the boiling water on the double boiler had to evaporate out. So they were a little bit tacky when they first came out of the silicone, but now they are not at all. So they're pretty matte and dry, um, which is good, <laughs> which is the way you want it because you don't want it to like start mushing apart in your hands. So I have four pieces of soap from a bunch of small pieces of soap. So this is what they look like. Um, you know, they aren't the most gorgeous soap in the world, but they smell good and they lather up really well. Um, you know, I don't know if someone would buy this if they were at a flea market or at a, uh, at a farmer's market, but you know, for me it works and literally just created from straight up trash, things that people would most likely just put into the garbage. So we got four pieces of soap for free guys. Uh, pretty damn cool. Um, and during the cleanup process, I learned that you can make liquid soap from the soap residue. So um, while I was cleaning up, everything started to foam, obviously, because there was just like soap, uh, leftover soap on the inside of the Pyrex uh, jar. So I thought to myself, let's put this back in the double boiler and mix it up. The little pieces of soap actually just um, dissolved into the water. And I got this. A perfectly good hand soap. It foams really well. I've been using it as hand soap. Um, and you know, 
it's definitely watery so you're gonna use a lot more of it quicker um but you know better here than in the trash okay well that is all i have for you guys today that is the end of the video if you try to make your own soap please let me know and let me know how it turns out tag me on instagram or wherever you find me i'm on twitter instagram and here on youtube subscribe if you want to see more thanks guys